Hail produced. The 13th Where annual Belize Tourism Belize. Industry Presentation, a consortium of stakeholders from across the travel business, was held this morning in Corozal Town. Officials from the Ministry of Tourism, the Belize Tourism Board, as well as the Belize Tourism Industry Association gathered at Tony's Inn where they took a progressive look at the year ahead. The focus remains on a tourism master plan which was formulated a few years ago. The development of national connectivity. The National Sustainable Tourism Master Plan identifies some constraints to sustainable tourism development as being poor level of accessibility by land and air. It goes on further to say that further input from the tourism sector should be allowed in terms of accessibility and transportation infrastructures. While the BTB is not an implementer, we can be the conduit and lobby via the Ministry of Tourism and Culture for the creation of the Ministerial Council, which is spoken about in our master plan, and then through that, lobby for our access to our destinations, improved infrastructure, and of course, improvement at all of our arrival sites. According to Minister of Tourism, Manuel Heredia, in line with what has been identified by the Director of Tourism, government has secured outside funding for initiatives dealing with infrastructure development locally. The Ministry is also in the process of negotiating other cooperation agreements to support the development of tourism infrastructure with key international partners. Just this week, in fact, the Ministry was successful in securing an $11 million project through the Taiwan International Cooperation Development Fund for the upgrading of the House of Culture and the preservation of other historical buildings in Belize City. Four millions have been discussed with BRDP to look at other community-based tourism initiatives for both northern and southern Belize. But while works are in progress to further improve the industry, there are significant developments to report within the business. In 2013, we saw an increase of 21.2% in the number of tour operators in Belize and an 8.4% growth in licensed accommodation establishing meaning that the 1,400 1, licensed tour guides and thousands of Belizean hospitality workers could have more opportunity for meaningful employment in 2013-2014. This is testament of what is possible when we, the public and private sector, work in close collaboration to ensure that tourism remains a national priority. In 2013, In 2013, the Ministry of Tourism and Culture and the Belize Tourism Board reaffirmed its commitment to being a service to this industry. This approach is grounded in the principle of good governance that exercises all its power to create an enabling environment for those that we are mandated to serve. Equally of note is that arrivals in both cruise and overnight tourism are on the increase. That sentiment was echoed by the keynote speaker who emphasize the need for sustainable tourism. The region as a whole, the region as a whole, at the end of 2013, we are not going to go higher than a 3% in arrivals, in increase in arrivals. And some of our destinations are going to have a flat performance, in, have, have registered a flat performance in 2013. So it has to do something that you are doing something right within Belize in terms of working together, public and private sector, to make sure that you take advantage of whatever opportunities are out there to bring visitors into your country. So congratulations to you because, as I said, that is not what is happening in the rest of the Caribbean. Now. Companies and businesses are talking about a different kind of tourism and, and the words they're using and the property that I'm staying at in Belize City is, talk, is speaking the language too. We're talking responsible tourism, right everyone? That is a sustainable tourism, is a, a responsible tourism is a component of sustainable tourism development in terms of the kinds of businesses that we are developing. And, and businesses throughout the world are talking about this triple bottom line, where we are talking about profit, yes, but also people and planet. 
So we are looking at this triple bottom line as something that we need as responsible businesses, and in our case, responsible tourism businesses, to pay attention to. Reporting for News 5, I am Isanika Etano.